Hello, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant morning to you. Listen to me now, beautiful people. I don't know if you realize, but you only have one life to live. Maybe you have forgotten that reality. You don't like the cat. And obviously, you know, I'm being sarcastic. Like, have nine lives. You only have one shot to make the best of this life. So listen to me. We were grown up in a very toxic culture. Toxic, cancelled culture really didn't begin to do it today. You know. This has been from the traditionalists. It's just that media has brought it to the fore where we're able to see it in one sweep all together because of this world wide web but it has been there if you don't do what mainstream culture says then they cut you off or they demonize you simple if you don't follow certain status quo and practices church people cut you off and say you're hedonistic you're a heathen you're not of god you're like a jezebel or a wizard or a witch you know, and I'm not talking necessarily as it regards Obi and necromancy. You're outcast. You are gaslighted. You're blackballed. Just rejected completely and ostracized. Listen to what God says in your word. In his word, sorry. Above all things, I wish for you to prosper. Meaning to do well financially. To do well physically. To do well mentally. To do well psychologically. To do well emotionally. The very same Bible added to that. And stated that we must be happy and merry. Be happy and merry. Many of you are unhappy because you make church people dictate what you're supposed to do as opposed to God. A lot of the messages that are preached in church is culture, not necessarily Bible. If God says he's making and paving, he's making a mansion for you with streets of gold. And we are just a replica here on earth of what it is that will take place in heaven why shouldn't i not just enjoy earth while i'm here since i can't escape the challenges and i cannot escape death in the midst of all of that reality why not enjoy my life enjoy your lives as long as you know that you're genuinely not trying to hurt or harm another person i don't use the word offend because my faith in christ jesus may be offensive to somebody who has faith in buddha Buddha, a Buddhist, a Buddha, or whoever it is that they serve. Sorry, my apology. Or Confucius. Some people praise Haile Selassie as their God. So it, my, my faith in Christ Jesus may be offensive. So I don't, I'm not keen on using the word offend, really. But as long as I know I'm not in the wrong and I'm hurting you deliberately, consciously, frequently, and intentionally. Enjoy your life, my beautiful people. I know some people based on their own religious convictions, and I notice I use the word religious, and then your convictions, which really they are a dichotomy, and it's a split, because spirituality will convict you. It's, it's like the word of God. It will refine you. It will dress you. It will guide you. It will, re you know, offer a proof, you know, for you to become better. Whether it's in your dress code, whether it's in your thought patterns, how you speak to somebody, the actions you take, the word of God. That is why it says, let every man be convicted really within themselves. Really talking about let the spirit of God convict every man because we're all different. And how, how God speaks to you and talks to you. I'm not talking about the, what you call it, the rhema word, the real word, the practicality, the practical word. I'm talking about... You know, God's Spirit telling you something specific to do. Enjoy your life. You have one life. Go out sometimes. If you're married, go out. Date each other. Find a nice function to go to. You don't have to go to something that is illicit and sexual and whatever it is. Some people will do that. I'm not knocking anybody. I'm not telling somebody what to do. But, you know, for me, based on my own faith, I'm going to have to promote or promulgate something healthy. You know, go to a nice event, go to a nice and dance to don't just sit down there. You hear something. Let me tell you something beautiful, people. I want you to understand this about me. You see any function I gonna hear some nice music play? This a girl I gonna dance right through. Right through. Right through. I'm going to listen to me one like me now make a Tom, Dick, Harry, Jill, Jane, Mary, or Sue dictate how to live my life. 
and it has nothing to do with taking wise counsel because sometimes when people speak they they take the information as absolute and not take that specific conversation for that specific purpose the bible says enjoy and be merry god did not make us to just be going through okay it's about challenges and suffering back in the day they used to preach those things that people must suffer and didn't understand what jesus was saying you will suffer for the cause of christ of course there are times you will be misunderstood people will lie on you people will do this people will do that and you have to go through it is one of the basic tenets it builds character it builds um fortitude it builds a formidable attitude it builds strength it builds vitality and a firm foundation it builds loyalty it builds commitment those things are necessary so we never will escape challenges it builds faith because if the, a situation is not changing and you still stand on the word of god that one day it will change then you would have passed the test the ultimate test but enjoy your lives beautiful people go out go to some nice event go on the north coast travel the world listen and experience different cultures people's backgrounds and listen to some good music i'm not talking necessarily gospel music only i hear people talk about you know you know christians shouldn't be listening to secular really oh really some of these secular music music sorry and songs as far as i'm concerned should be even played in church because maybe it will convict them some of them i just sing them i say lord i'm singing it to you sometimes all right, and it's about enjoying your lives. I want people to build their emotional intelligence, and that is one of the things that is lacking in our society today. There's a thing that I used to they used to teach in school, and I went to I think prep school or high school, but I think it's from prep school days because we talk about the, the sense of motor years and the formative years and all of these things that Jean Piaget and Vygotsky spoke on. These are, you know, I call them clinicians in terms of how you are raised as children and the importance of rearing and nurturing with the right ingredients so that you become whole and fit enjoy your one life you don't have nine lives you don't have two lives you don't have a hundred or a plethora of lives just one el numero that's it so you won't get a chance to reset life again Please, I'm asking you, enjoy it. Go out. Dance. Sing. Rejoice. Celebrate somebody. Speak well of others. There are people that I don't even know on TikTok and I come across their posts. I see something positive I'm going to tell them. I don't have to know you to tell you that. To offer blessing and favor and pronounce that over your life. Why do I have to wait until I know you or I'm in a good mood? Sometimes I may not even be in the best of moods, but I use that and cultivate the fruit of the Spirit is in adversity that tells you who I am in God. So if you see me dancing, you know, darling, anyway, that secular event, gospel, because I'm thankful to God for life. And I want to explore the whole man, the whole me, as much as I can in a healthy way in an exciting way in a loving caring vivacious energetic way oh yes beautiful people so if you want to think that i'm a hedon i'm hedonistic i'm a heathen i'm fake i'm false that is your prerogative you're going to have to stay on that road i am not joining you i'm joining the road of peace and unity and harmony and happiness I even want to go one day on that harmony cruise you know when you have berry hammond and all these great musicians and singers what yeah, man, I'm telling you, beautiful people, I was listening to some young, bright minds today playing some lovely soccer music with the, like the, um, what well, a tin thing name again there that you played. The name just eluded me a while ago. And the drumming and the, I like instrumentation, believe you me, I like a live band. Once they're on and they're playing and they're executing their skill and their talent, oh my God, people, if me go on an event and music I play right through me, I dance right through. That's me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you from now, I am enjoying this one life. I am enjoying it. And as much as I can, I will treat people the way I want to be treated. Love people the way I want to be loved. In, that, in, you know, in accordance <laughs> with how God says. And put God above everyone and everything else. As often I ask him to help me to be better every day. And that better 
becoming better that better means you would call it is to enjoy my life follow me on tiktok beautiful people subscribe to my youtube channel and share this message